college student just reached out to me and they are panicked. They did not land an internship this summer. I know it's very competitive, but there are options. Six quick options of what you can do if you did not land an internship this summer. My name is Beth and I help college students and recent grads land that internship or that first job after college. So just save and follow for more tips. Do you need an internship before you graduate college? Would it be helpful? Yes. Does it have to be a formal internship? Not necessarily, and there are choices. Here are my favorite choices of what to do in case you didn't get an internship of how you can use the time wisely over the summer or any time when you have a Number one, micro internships. Maybe one to two week project-based internships where you can get real experience from real companies who are looking for students to fill project-based roles. There is a great company that I love to refer to. It's called Parker Dewey. I'll link it in the comments. And they have all of these short-term opportunities where companies are specifically looking just for college students to do this project-related work. I can think is virtual experiences. There is a company called The Forage. By the way, I'm not paid, but I just think it's a great resource where you can have virtual experiences where you can go to the website and it kind of runs you through a simulation. It's part class, part simulation of what it's like to actually do the job and you can get a certificate after. And companies love to recruit from students who took these classes and certifications because they know that they're interested in the company. So you can go to theforage.com. I'll link that as well. Other good thing to do over the summer is to get a certification or go to a boot camp. These can be in coding, project management, supply chain marketing, but there's really great certifications or boot camps that you can use to enhance your knowledge. And sometimes companies specifically offer them. So that's also a great way. If you want to get into a specific company, look for those. Other thing is there's part-time jobs. There is no shame in scooping ice cream, delivering pizza. You have to learn customer service skills. You have to learn how to manage money. You have to learn how to optimize your time. So any kind of part-time job that you're able to use your skills or acquire new ones, I'm all for it. Those are all great experiences. Fifth one is job shadowing if you have a friend a family a connection of someone where you can go follow them at work for the day over a few days even an afternoon it's such great experience to get a sense of what it's really like to be there and it carries very little risk but it's also a great way to talk to people maybe get yourself in or make some connections or people that you connect with down the road I love job shadowing if it's available the last way to spend your time if you weren't able to get an internship is through targeted networking Find fellow alumni, could be recent grads who only graduated in the last three to five years. You don't need the executive or the VP. Get someone who's doing the job that you aspire to. Get on the phone, ask them how they got to that role. Ask them how they are progressing in their career. Any advice they have for you to be successful. So all of these strategies are things that you can use to absolutely maximize your time over the summer. Tell me in the comments if you weren't able to get an internship and what you are doing this summer to help enhance your skill set.